What up, it's your boy NWP, and uh, today we're just going to talk about the 30 hertz tick rate thing and, you know, the changes that people want to hear about. But first, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell just next to it so that you can get alerted any time that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up, and if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Also, as I've said before, I'll be running a giveaway every thousand subscribers. And uh, if you want to be a part of that, you got to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. So keep that in mind. But uh, also, I have a one going away for the first thousand subscribers that has a link in the description to check out. So go ahead and check that out as there will always also be some type of link to get more entries. Uh, yeah, but anyways, guys, so 30 hertz tick rate. Um, I got bad news for... Uh, people so a lot of people are assuming that the 30 hertz tick rate or you know coming up from 20 is going to make you not a potato anymore well that's not the case and the game actually feels no different to me uh, from 20 hertz to 30 hertz now if it was going to feel different to somebody that has a lesser connection is really the, the situation and it could be a little bit more impactful, but it's also going to be more demanding on your connection at all times. So it's a little bit weird. It's like in CSGO, um, the best way it's described is that the higher the tick rate goes, the more CPU you're using and the more uh, overall internet bandwidth you're going to use because of the more constant communication with the server. Now, in most modern games, this actually isn't tied the same way to that, whereas instead of having to fall inside of a, like, on a refresh to really get the information, these are, the refreshes take a bulk chunk of data. So, I would honestly tell you guys that if you feel like the game is any different um, it's placebo. It's completely placebo, uh, and yeah, I think I think the really the difference is going to be that they've been allowing us to just find what is um, st st like a stable host, maybe not the best actual connection, but the most stable connection um, for uh, just constant, you know, games with a lot of like a very large populace that doesn't have a really good matchmaking situation set up yet and what you guys aren't understanding is the matchmaking at the beginning and release of a game is actually going to be non-existent almost because nobody should have a rank nobody should have a matchmaking rating it's all baseline so everybody's just getting matched all over the place and there's ranks all over the place in terms of how the MMR works and whether you want to believe it or not that yes there is some skill based matchmaking in this game it's not very good but it does go by you know what your current MMR is or you know more what I'm assuming because of those constant um, pop-ups requesting uh, you know that you answer you know did you have fun this game or uh, you know like that it's actually taking that into account and uh, shifting you away from a mat it's, it's awkward the way that they've always done it um, except in advanced warfare where it was clearly KD based so keep that in mind that there is some little bit niche form of um, you matchmaking in there that is skill based in a sense. It's not true skill based matchmaking because that would be off of like wins purely. And a team that just consistently wins is going to be probably, you know, a higher skill base. Um, but again, there's so many factors to that. Like, if you're constantly just beating up bad players, then should your skill base be going up? Should it be going down? You know, it's, so it's it's never been good in any game, even Halo or anything else, that where the skill based matchmaking has been involved, and it never will be that great. The way that it's gonna, you know, realistically, you have to do something like MLG, uh, game battles. You know, and all the other little pro point style th situation where people can accurately uh, earn points and then, you know, uh, appeal to some form of uh, administration about losses that are fraudulent or, you know, cheaters and, and all the different types of boosting methods that are out there, really. And that's not going to be something you see in a public match game. And, like, you know, most people would consider core, hardcore, and the, the like to be more similar to, like, social gaming than your ranked gaming. And, you, and I, I agree to my own extent that that is true, that like the scoreboard and the leaderboards for just straight up scores isn't really accurate or indicative of any skill, but more indicative of the constant amount of play 
And but I guess you know you have to have some at least uh, an okay or mediocre skill level with a lot of play to be that high on you know just you know that type of ranking without cheating obviously. But you know that's neither here nor there. We were really talking about the, the, the tick rate fix, and I personally haven't felt anything. I don't think a 10 bump on the on the, the frequency of response is actually going to matter. I think maybe if we get up towards back towards the 60. Uh, then it will not be a placebo effect. Maybe the next 10 we might feel it, but I mean we're literally talking about such a minuscule amount added at this point that it's it's not even something that I would bother really you know stressing about or thinking that it is necessary. Okay, so if you are a potato, I'm sorry guys, you're still got potato. It has nothing to do with the frequency response of the servers at this point. Uh, that guy right there had nothing to do with the tick rate, okay? He was looking on the ground for where I wasn't. He wasn't paying attention. His eyes aren't fast enough, whatever, okay? So there's a million reasons why that that, that could be, you know, you don't have a controller that, like, everybody else has. You know, you're, you're playing game modes you shouldn't be playing by yourself. You know, there's a bazillion reasons that you're getting crapped on in your potato, and I'd almost bet that almost none of them have anything to do with the response of the servers. So... Uh, you know, stop looking for, you know, detailed reasonings uh, to excuse yourself for bad play and just, you know, try to, like, figure out what works better for you. Don't copy other people. Don't follow other people. Don't rush up spawns, you know, like, play more reserved. If you really want an idea of what you're doing wrong, most people run around COD and bitch about camping and uh, really go watch the opening sequence of Saving Private Ryan when they're all getting off the boats and running up the beach at the campers at the top of the hill. And you'll see how absolutely stupid that really is to run and gun. But that's going to do it for this video, guys. Here's two more videos that you can take a look at and watch and enjoy. And uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And as always, have a good one.